Hey what's up guys, it's Brovini here, back with another Pokemon TCG Pocket video. Today we're going to talk about theme decks and rental decks. Now long term TCG players probably know these terms very well, but there are a lot of new players coming into the TCG scene because of TCG Pocket. So that's why I'm going through the terminology and also how to earn these rental and theme decks. Now as you start the game, you'll be able to do these pack openings and hopefully you'll be pulling some very nice cards. And in those cards, from time to time, you might get something that unlocks a rental deck. And how do we know that? We click missions and then we click deck and you'll see these various missions where you have to complete in order to get either a rental or a theme deck. For example, if like me, you pulled a Charizard from one of the packs, you'll be able to complete this mission here that gives you a rental deck. So you can see which card you need in order to get this deck. Now it doesn't have to be the immersive art of the Charizard EX. You can see which card you need by clicking the little magnifying glass. So for example, if I want the Venusaur EX rental deck, click the little plus button, the game will tell me that I need to pull Venusaur EX. It can be any art of the Venusaur EX. It also tells me what other cards are in this deck, but that's not relevant to getting a rental deck. The rental deck is just a way for the game to give you something to start battling with. It allows you to use that deck 10 times. Now I'm not aware of any method to refresh that number. If you guys know how to refresh that rental deck number, let me know. But you can use it 10 times. Do note that if you lose a battle, it still counts as one time. In order to permanently gain access to this deck, that's called a theme deck. Now have a look at the number here. You can see that zero out of one, meaning that you've collected that one Venusaur that allows you to access that rental deck. If you manage to collect every single card in that deck though, you will simply be able to permanently use that deck. It's no longer a rental deck. So the fact that a rental deck you can only use it for 10 times is totally fine because at some point you're supposed to collect enough cards to be able to build your own deck. And the great thing is the game will assess this for you automatically. You don't have to look through your cards or anything like that to see if you've got everything. So let's have a look at Venusaur and see how many of the cards we've got to complete this deck. Now, as you can see, I still don't have Venusaur, but I have Execute. I don't have Executor. I have uh, some of these other cards here, but I don't have these. So once I manage to pull all of these cards, then I'll be able to unlock this theme deck permanently. Now in this section here, it actually also has a little wonder pick icon. So in case you're looking for a card specifically, you can click that Bulbasaur, for example, click into wonder pick and basically it tells you that it's currently available via wonder pick. So let's have a look and see if Bulbasaur is around and there you have it. But of course, this is, doesn't guarantee that the Bulbasaur will be earned. You only have a one in five chance of getting Bulbasaur. Although this is not how I would recommend using Wonder Pick. I would much rather go through the list and find something that I actually really want that might be rare for a 20% chance to get this Dragonite, for example, although it does cost more stamina to pull on one of these Wonder Picks. Because ultimately, it's much easier to find a Bulbasaur just from random pack openings than it is to get a Dragonite. Now, you can also wish list your cards. For example, if I click this button here in my cards and say I really want Venusaur E. X, I can click the little heart button. Every time it shows up in Wonder Picks, it will have a heart icon to highlight that that's what I want. Okay, so once you've completed this mission, now unfortunately I don't have a theme deck to show you guys because I'm still on the way to completing these decks. Once you've completed these missions to unlock a theme deck, not only do you not need to worry about rental deck at all, you should be able to find it under battle. And when you click decks in the bottom here, and click theme deck list, you will be able to find them sorted by the TCG series. Now, unfortunately, I don't have every card of this deck. So even though I press build this deck in the bottom right corner, it will still won't let me use the deck, although it is available via my deck list. So if I wanted to have that theme deck available in my personal deck list, it's available here. I just can't use it not usable because I don't have every card in that series. So what are these other decks that I've got here? Now these are my personally customized decks. The reason why we have theme decks is for leveled playing field. So sometimes you want to battle a friend. 
or anybody. And maybe you don't have all the Charmander in the world in order to build a fire deck. So that's why we use rental deck and theme decks to make sure that is a leveled playing field for both parties. But sometimes you just want to flex your deck. You want to you want to use your most powerful cards, or maybe you want to run certain strategies that are not available via the theme decks. Then this is where you come to build a deck, you build a new deck, and you select the cards you want to put in this deck. One difference with the original TCG game is you only need to choose 20 cards to build this to build the deck. So you want to build a deck with exactly 20 cards. Now the reason why there are 30 slots here is only for your personal deck building purposes. You can't actually use a deck that has more than 20 cards or less than 20 cards. You can build a deck with 30 but you can't use that deck. There is another feature here though. So let's say you don't have either a rental deck or a theme deck for a specific type. And you need, say, a psychic deck in order to complete a certain mission. But you do have some psychic Pokemon that you want to attempt beating a certain mission with. What you can do is you can just go to auto build and click psychic type and press OK. And the game will choose a bunch of different psychic Pokemon and a bunch of different supporter and item cards for you to work with. And largely, the choices made by the game are not too bad. Of course, based on the limitations that it has, you probably wouldn't want to use a deck that only has one Ghastly, one Haunter and one Gengar because the chance of you pulling all three within the 20 cards during a gameplay would be a bit on the low end. You might want to run a deck that has two Ghastly, two Haunter, and one Gengar for a better chance at evolving all the way to the Gengar evolution. So here I'm making some modifications in order to achieve those results. So maybe I won't run Slowbro at all and try to have two Haunter and two Ghastly. But then because I'm short one Haunter, I'm not really sure what I'll do here. Maybe I'll choose a normal type Pokemon instead. And normal type Pokemon largely has the advantage of not worrying about what type of energy is attached to it. So a single stage normal type Pokemon like Farfetch'd can be used as a generalist, not worrying about Pokemon types. So here I've completed a very simple, very quick psychic type deck that I will try to use against an opponent, maybe in solo battle, just for completing missions. The great thing about building your own deck is that it doesn't have a limit of tries. So let's take another example. If I'm over here trying to beat this stage mission and it requires that I need fighting type Pokemon in order to clear this mission. And yet I don't really have any rental decks that has fighting, just ignore this one here. Let's pretend I don't have that there. So what I do is once again, I go to decks, I build a new deck and I press auto build using fighting types. And if I'm happy with this list of Pokemon, of course you can make modifications yourself. I press OK, I press save. And there you have it, I now have a fighting deck. And you can actually change that deck box to make it look like a, a fighting type instead. And there you have it, there's my fighting type deck. And now I can come back to the mission and change my deck to a fighting type deck. That's a rental deck, but I can use one of these that has no limits because rental decks have a limit of 10 users. Of course, rental decks are designed for you to use early on when you don't have all the Pokemon available until a time you've collected enough Pokemon cards in order to build your own deck. But when a mission is really difficult and you need an unlimited number of tries and you don't want to use up all your rental decks, this is a good way to not waste your rental deck away that you might need a little later on. So hopefully that clears up the differences between my deck, rental deck and theme decks. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.